Iberia economy class on board the A350 is way better than what you think. And in this video, we'll discover why. Let's get started. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Madrid Barajas Airport. I'm very excited to fly Iberia Economy Class to Bogota on board one of their new A350s and share this experience with you. Before we dive into this adventure, let me give you a heads up. Check-in counters tend to be quite busy in the morning as many long-haul flights depart at noon. Use the self-check-in kiosks to save time. Iberia long-haul flights depart from Terminal 4S. This terminal has a fresh and modern vibe and feels super spacious. Keep in mind that it takes about 20 minutes to get to the gate from the main terminal, so plan accordingly. Iberia's long haul fleet consists of A330s, like this one, and the modern A350s. Before we head to the gate, let me show you where you can grab the most delicious snack before your flight. This place has the best Spanish ham sandwiches in the terminal. Cheaper than any restaurant and the ham is simply delicious. Terminal 4S feels new and very spacious, thanks to the high ceilings. Are you an aviation enthusiast? This quiet space opposite gate S16 offers great unobstructed views of the airfield. Even if you're not, it's a great spot to chill out before boarding. All right, guys, the moment of excitement is here. It's time to step inside the stunning Iberia A350-900. Let's go. Our seat today is 28A, a nice window seat that promises breathtaking views throughout the flight, especially of the iconic A350 winglets. First impressions matter, and I must say, Iberia has done a good job with the comfort and looks of this seat. It feels fresh, clean and very comfortable. In terms of space, it feels like most economy class seats. Iberia states that A350 seats are 1cm wider. The only downside of the window seat is this bit here that reduces legroom. Let's now talk about the comfort of the seat. The headrest features a nice leather feel and is fully adjustable. You can adjust the height as well as the position of the flaps to find the perfect support for your neck. Here we have this thin and light armrest. And with this button, we can recline our seat. Let's now take a peek inside the seat pocket, the sick bag and this colourful safety card. At the front, we also have every traveller's best friend, a power socket. There are two for every three seats. And here is a hunger for your jacket. If you're enjoying this video, drop a like now and hit the subscribe button for more amazing content. Guys, look at this super cool feature. IFE screens have a small seatbelt signed indicator. Time to fasten our seatbelts and prepare for taxi. Iberia's safety video is a bit dull, but it does showcase some beautiful places across Spain. Guys, what's your favourite safety video? Leave a comment. Ready for takeoff. Bogota, here we come. Quick fact, Iberia A350s have a total of 358 seats, with 31 seats in business class, 24 in premium economy, and 293 in economy. Check this out. Luck is on my side today. I had the entire road to myself. I turned the three seats into my personal economy couch. How good is that? Something that I find really cool about Iberia is that they clearly outline all services that customers can enjoy during the flight in a video. Guess what? That includes free messaging during the flight. 
They also provide a timeline of the meals we can expect and when they will be served. No more guessing required. Let's now deploy the tray table to get ready for our first meal. As you can see, it's a classic economy tray table. Stable and we can adjust the position. Nothing new here. Lunch was served roughly one hour after departure. There were two main course options to choose from. I went for these pasta with cheese, which looks pretty tasty. As a starter, we have a light and refreshing pepper salad drizzled with extra virgin olive oil, a smooth sponge cake as dessert, and bread on the side. We also have a bottle of water and disposable wooden cutlery. The cutlery is practical, but stainless steel cutlery would offer an upgraded experience. The salad was surprisingly good. The veggies were fresh and crunchy and go very well with the olive oil. The pasta wasn't overcooked, the texture was great and the sauce was tasty and not too salty. The dessert didn't disappoint either. Spongy, smooth and not overly sweet. After the meal, the crew promptly cleared the trays and offered tea and coffee service. You guys know that I'm a tea person. Let's now talk about entertainment. Iberia 350s feature larger 12-inch screens in economy class. Screens are very responsive. The resolution is great and the IFE is easy to navigate thanks to the user-friendly layout and you can even connect your wireless headphones via Bluetooth. That's not all. The screen also has a USB and a USB-C port over here. In terms of available content, I personally found the range of movies and series quite limited. There are two dedicated sections for Spanish and Latin American productions, but I'd love to see a wider range of international and newer movies. And now, let's move on to the all-time favorite flight map. And I have to admit, this is one of my favorite. The graphics are impressive and the map itself is super responsive and well designed. You can also tap on Iberia's destinations to read a short but well written guide to the destination. And what can I say about the economy headphones? Not much, pretty bad. Did you know that A350 windows are the largest among Airbus planes? They are smaller than Boeing 777 and 787 windows though. In economy class, Iberia provides a surprisingly comfortable and plush pillow that offers great support. I was also impressed by how soft the pillowcase was. We also have this Iberia red blanket that is surprisingly soft and warm. With the road to myself, I was able to have a very good rest during the flight. Guys, what has been your best economy flight ever? Leave a comment and let me know. I had to go to the galley myself a couple of times to get some water. Unfortunately, the crew didn't come by with the trolley to offer any drinks after lunch. The crew were very nice and friendly though. I mentioned I was peckish, so they gave me these delicious savory snacks. And here is our pre-arrival meal. There was a vegetarian choice, but I went for a Spanish ham sandwich with extra virgin olive oil. Again, I was quite impressed by the quality of the food. Catering is a big improvement compared to the last time I flew with Iberian economy. My overall experience with Iberian economy class was very positive. The airport experience was seamless. Smooth checking using the self-service kiosks and hassle-free boarding. The comfortable seat and headrest, as well as the great quality pillow and blanket, made the long journey very enjoyable. Window seats have slightly reduced legroom, so you may prefer a Nile or an emergency row seat if traveling solo. They detailed everything we could expect during this flight, and the free messaging service was a wonderful bonus. While the IFE system was good, I'd love to see a wider and better range of movies and series. The catering improvements were remarkable. 
The quality of the food was very good and the meals were truly enjoyable. Guys, what do you think of today's flight? Have you ever flown with Iberia before? Leave a comment and let me know. And that's all for today guys. If you like the video, keep watching. You will love the suggested videos on screen. See you in the next one.